Good day, everyone. Good day, everyone around the world. So, yeah, we have a job. This job is coming from another town. This is coming from a town which is very far away. We received this job from another technician who is fixing laptops uh, here in Zimbabwe in Plum Tree. So, he came with this motherboard for repair. He said, I'm a big fan on YouTube. I'm watching your videos. I really appreciate that you are sharing knowledge for free. Obvious knowledge is free. Uh, why should I give out knowledge in exchange of money? I should let it just share for free. So, the story with this motherboard. This is a motherboard for Lenovo. I deep at 320. Yeah, 320, 520, if I do remember. He said 320 15 IESK. ISK, that's the model of this motherboard that came in for repair. Uh, he said the motherboard doesn't have power. Okay. So this technician is quite a good guy because he just make our job easier so we have the motherboard what we are seeing here we are just seeing a lot of components let's start uh, let's start by identifying things what we can see from this motherboard we we'll see we have the fan heat sink processor all in one processor with pch and chipset inside we have the bios chip Yeah, it is a BIOS chip. Uh, so this BIOS chip can be the BIOS, P, BIOS chip for the EC chip or for the PCH. Network card, RAM slot, and we have the onboard RAM memory. Uh, you can see those, those chips. That's onboard RAM memory. Even without this, this RAM, this motherboard has to display. Okay. Here we have Lenovo. Lenovo IT8586E. That's the EC chip. You can see this EC chip. Fine. Okay. We have the input MOSFET here. First MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor. The voltage is going everywhere. So, what can we start checking? We can check what voltage do we have on the motherboard. That's very important. Why this motherboard is said to be dead? Huh? Oh, I need some adapters. We're gonna get an adapter for this for this charging port. Yeah, it is this one. That's the adapter for this one. We need to see. It's taking three milliamps. And I can hear the sound of the power supply clicking. Huh? Maybe you can't hear, but the power supply has got some funny sound. I think clicking of the power supply it means short to ground. Okay. So, volts. On the charging port, we have 19 volts. You can see all the multimeter. Uh, here, the input of the first MOSFET. We have 19. On the output, we have zero. On the current sensor, we have zero. 
So basically, our 19 volts is disappearing uh, exactly on the on the first MOSFET. The first MOSFET is not outputting anything. This is the output zero volts. On the input, we have 19.18 volts. So why the first MOSFET is not passing the 19 volts? We don't know. We don't know. Uh, what I want to do, I want to unplug the power supply. Uh, diode mode. Let's check the second MOSFET. I can't see anything to ground. Zero. You can see on the multimeter, current sensor to ground, zero. We have a short circuit. Clearly, our motherboard is shorted. So let's go on a microscope. Let's go on a microscope and do first visual inspection. Let's inspect the motherboard. This is the input circuit. Those are the MOSFETs. Those are the MOSFETs. You can recheck them. Mount meters on the screen, diet mode. Okay. And the output of the second MOSFET is beeping to ground. You can hear the beep. Zero, zero. On the current sensor, here we have a current sensor here. It's beeping with the ground. That means the main 19 volts power line is shorted to ground. Okay, let's check the motherboard. This is the USB C port. We have the power supply here. We have that chip. Nova Lenovo, that's the easy chip. Okay. Why don't we inspect the motherboard first? Maybe we can spot something. What is that? Huh? What is that? Okay, I thought this is a plastic. I thought that is low water damage. What is that? Huh? Come on. Huh? What do you think here? What is that? Huh? Someone just give me an explanation. Here we have two capacitors here. See those capacitors? Those capacitors are connected to the 19 volts power line. Here we have another two, which are blown up. Here we have another two. So these capacitors, they are blown up. All of them, they don't show a good shape. Huh? 
I knew it. I knew it. This is just a capacitor job. I knew it. So we need to take down those capacitors. Capacitors, they are dying these days. Why? And my question is why? Well, this is coming from another technician. Why did you see those capacitors? Huh? We need capacitors for replacement here. Caps for replacement. Let's replace the capacitors. Come on. Come on, let's replace those capacitors. Capacitors are in place. The next thing, I want to check for short again. And the short is gone. If we check on the current sensor, we check on the current sensor. It's not shorted. I'm checking second MOSFET. Well, that MOSFET is. It's dying easily. Everything looks fair and fine. Everything looks fair and fine. Huh? The question is. I will have a working motherboard and why why people they always skip visual inspection because this is just a capacitor all you need is to replace the capacitor that's all what we this technician was supposed to do Replace the capacitor and otherwise nothing much.
So let me just wait for the body to cool down and then we test. Let's test now. Let's test charging port seven to six thirty two. And the fan is spinning. Oh, it's not taking 300, 290. It's off. It's now taking 305. And the motherboard is on. Huh? Check here. We have light. Because we don't have the BIOS battery. Was here, this connector is meant to be for the BIOS battery. The fan is spinning. And we have light here. So I think we are just done here. Let's confirm by checking some voltages. Huh? Uh, what I want to check, I want to check REM voltage. One one point twenty one. You can see all the multimeter. We have RAM here. Zero point seven three. One volt for the processor. Eight volts. This is the charging circuit. Was here we have the battery connector here. Maybe you can see. But here we do have the battery connector. So here that's the charging circuit with eight something volts. What about here? One point five one volt here. Five point twelve and three point three. All the voltage seems fine. Huh? So that was the problem. Uh, two capacitors were shorted to ground on the main volts, main 19 volts power line. So, like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. I'm happy if I can help someone from another town. That means the the effort was worth to be to be done, like to travel from far away. Uh, for the motherboard repair. So if we have this motherboard for Lenovo IDP at 320-15 ISK which is misbehaving I hear it from, from the first time. When I hear the power supply clicking I for sure I know that the main 19 volts power line was shorted to ground. This was just an easy repair. Huh? Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for fish updates. See you on the next one. Bye.